Hello and welcome. In this episode of the Adaptive Recognition S1 Expert User Series, you will learn how to properly set up the tripod and get familiar with its most important features. Additionally, we will show you how to power the S1 on. Being able to set up in just two minutes is probably the most impressive and unique benefit of S1 cameras. An integral part of this is the tripod, since it provides a steady mount needed for the best results. Please note that S1 cameras can also be used from inside a car with a special seat adapter bracket, which is not covered in this series. S1 cameras need around 50 seconds to boot up. That's why the first step of the setup is pushing the power button on the device. The internal battery provides power during this process. By the way, the internal battery should easily cover 30 minutes of use, a power reserve, which is always nice to have. For example, it facilitates uninterrupted operation when changing external batteries. While the S1 is starting, you can begin setting up the tripod. The tripod consists of the legs and the head. First, you will need to work with the legs. Open the rubber feet and then stand it up. Open the legs next and push down the spreader. The spreader can be adjusted by loosening the bolts. For a proper stance and adequate stability, set the bolts distances from the legs a fist wide. Tighten the bolts to fix its position. Now that the stance is fixed, it's time to set an appropriate height to match environmental conditions. For example, the camera should be positioned quite low for dual sensor measurements as the laser beam has to cross vehicles in all three or four lanes. Release the latches on the legs and lift the tripod, grabbing the grip underneath the head while holding the spreader in place. Fasten the upper latches. Extend the legs further if needed and fasten the lower latches too. With a standing tripod at hand, it's time to see how the head works. The first thing that should always be done after setup is making sure the head is horizontal. Unscrew the grip under the head and use the built-in spirit level for this operation. Tighten the grip to fix the position. The screw on the back is responsible for securing the horizontal rotation of the head. The screw on the left can enable or disable the vertical rotation of the head. These are the ones that are most frequently used during setup and manual operation. Use the roll on the left to adjust the dampening of the vertical rotation. Twisting the roll in the middle, on the other hand, will adjust the horizontal rotation's dampening. Additionally, the head also features a counterbalance system. While the vertical rotation is enabled, set its roll on the right to position 3 and tilt the head forward until it clicks. This way, the head will always return to the horizontal position, zero tilt. Adjust the dampeners and the counterbalance system for a convenient and suitable head movement. At this point, you have an S1 device ready for operation and a standing fully functional tripod. Slide the S1 onto the head's rail, accompanied by a clicking sound. From now on, the S1 device can't fall off the tripod. Fix the S1's position on the head with the screw on the right. For maximal time efficiency, attach the external power source and peripherals, for example, GPS adapter, when the device is already on the tripod. To be able to slide the S1 off the head, loosen the screw on the right and push the button on the left. Being an all-in-one device, the S1 is exceptionally compact, versatile, and a result of these, truly mobile. It has built-in intelligence, storage, optics and sensors, LiDAR technology, infrared illuminator, GPS, 4G modem, Wi-Fi adapter, inner battery, and even a touchscreen. Essentially, there is no need to attach additional accessories, not even a notebook. Thanks for watching.
For staying updated, make sure to subscribe to our channel.